Good evening, church. Wanted to give you an update coming out of our deacons meeting this afternoon. Appreciate your prayers as we prayed ourselves and looked to the Lord for guidance and how he would lead our church in the coming days. One of the things we decided in that meeting was that we would have meetings like this every two weeks unless we feel the urge to meet more often because things change quickly uh, with the coronavirus. But uh, in general, we're looking to the CDC to give us guidance as to when we can meet again. As I mentioned, Sunday, uh, during our final corporate time for a while, we we want to live quiet and submissive lives to the rulers we believe God has established over us, except for when it's a gospel issue. And at this point, we don't believe this is a gospel issue. We believe this is prudence and uh, loving our neighbor well by helping to flatten the curve, as everyone is talking about. We're hoping to continue to pump out content. So starting tomorrow night, we'll have our first Wednesday prayer meeting online. I'll be including more information in the church email about that, and I'll be sending that link out tomorrow evening, but we'll continue to pray and continue to update our prayer list and continue to look at God's word together. Similarly, in the coming weeks, uh, as this thing may press on for a while, uh, we want to continue to study our Sunday school lessons, and so we're going to be doing that with some video content as well. And of course, our Sunday morning gatherings will provide music, an opportunity to sing and pray and read the scriptures and sit under the teaching of God's word. And so his word will continue to go forth and we'll pray and trust that it will bear fruit. And we know that his word will not return void. Also, we're hopeful that this is an opportunity to uh, rekindle relationships with our neighbors and have opportunities to share with our neighbors uh, the reason for the hope that we have, as scripture tells us, and perhaps to serve them and show them the love of Christ and have opportunity to share with them God's great love for them that he has proven in the person and work of Jesus Christ. I love you guys, and it's been a crazy start to pastoring Byron Baptist Church, but I am happy to be walking with you in this hard season. Good night.